Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. Look, man, everything looks a bit different here today because today's episode of Beaker's Lab is sponsored by Grand Cross Age of Titans. You guys who know me, you know I'm into like anime in general, but anime style games, dude, they've come a long way. Like some of my favorite like strategy sim style games, simulation games, they're in this style. And honestly, I like them even better than when they have a bit of a story. Guys, we're about, we're about to check this out. I'm about to check this out with you guys for the first time. From what I've heard, like, I actually do like cutscenes and voice acting and stuff. Mobile games don't always have that. Apparently, we're about to see a lot of that. So look, it's tradition here. Get your shades on and get your shoes off. You guys wanna come along for the ride? Let's get started. So guys, Grand Cross Age of Titans is a 4X strategy simulation MMO RTS game. It's gonna be on mobile and PC. And I say it's gonna be, it's already out in beta, basically early access. It's gonna be launched globally on August of 2023. So as we're seeing, it's got that 2D anime style. You know, the characters are drawn in a very manga style. Guys, I'm a sucker for that stuff. I, I just am. You know, I like other games like this, but if they all look the same, I don't think that would be the case, right? Age of Titans has a unique visuals from the other existing strategy games in this style with the anime style art. The characters are super well designed, so you can enjoy playing the game, getting the story, getting to know those characters, while also being very strategy oriented, so those who just want to enjoy the strategy aspects can just stick to that. Skyna, another dimension of the world, is on the verge of destruction by the power of chaos, the two main characters, Mio and Eugene, are summoned from the real world to Skyna for the desperate origin of Destina, the princess, of course, of Skyna. Uh, guys, if you know anime, just in general, it's pretty common for them to have a story where gamer gets sucked into the game they're playing and has to save the world, so much so that <laughs> Age of Titans actually sort of makes fun of it, which I love. Like, if you're gonna do something that is kind of like it's out there you've seen this before make fun of that age of titans is a story of two ordinary students rebuilding a kingdom on the verge of extinction and working to go back to the earth you know like we said common but good story in the anime slash anime game world users can enjoy the vast story of the male and female main characters in the game with hundreds of cutscenes and full voices in that webtoon, you know, manga style. Guys, not a lot of mobile games have cutscenes. I love a good cutscene. From what I've seen so far, it really looks like Age of Titans has a stronger story and, you know, character development compared to strategy games like this, especially mobile strategy games like this. And for me, I mean, that helps me get, me get more in, immersed in the game, you know? If I'm in the story, I care more about the strategy and the fights and, and the wins. Here we go, here we go. of the stars draws near. The start of a new world. I love this style, dude. That was a cool intro. That was really cool. Oh, dude, we're in the cutscene. We're like skipping it. I like this. I like this. Your Highness, you must go to the Star Fragment now. Claudia, please hold out just a little longer while I offer the Star Prayer. That's our princess. Skyna's ancestors, Goddess, give us the strength to protect Skyna. Let's go. Put on the necklace that's been handed down from generation to generation and pray to the stars. If the star prayer reaches the goddess, a savior will surely appear and help us. I love this. <laughs> I love this anime stuff. All the powers that protect the world, all the voices the goddess loves, please work a miracle and save us. I like how it's waiting for us to click. Like if you've ever played games like this, you can set it to either way. You can set it to auto, but I like that it waits for you to read it or follow along or listen, and then you click to go to the next, you know, cutscene. I won't let anyone get near our princess, not even to touch her shadow. Word. 
did the pr okay so the princess just did that i just want to make sure i'm following along i think the princess just shot out like the you know the beam of magic and now what are we going to cut up in the sky i think we are yeah i missed yeah we did your highness look over yes. there yes this is how we get there right this is how we get to this world yep yep where am i yep became reality the savior of the stars man i'm just gonna say this right now i would love to i'm not a voice actor but i would actually train for this if i could get a role in a game like that like i would love to play a game and me be one of the characters like it just saying wink wink the savior of what the savior of the stars could this be Skyna the Brave? So is that the game that he got sucked into, Skyna the Brave? Save, please save Skyna. Have pity on us. Princess Destina in the Skyna Kingdom. Yeah, we're in a video There's game. No doubt about it. We're inside a video game, getting transported to a game world and becoming their savior. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Where am I? Am I dreaming or something? Hey, the savior is a gamer. Let's go. Savior of the stars. Our territory is ravaged, but we will serve you with all our hearts. The savior of the stars? You've never heard of the game called Skyna the Brave? Hmm. Guess you're not a gamer. Guess you're not a gamer. It's kind of annoying that I can't skip the dialogue. But this is the main quest, so let's just keep listening. I, I do like the meta aspect of this. If they're kind of making fun of it, like this guy. Savior, please help us. I beg you on behalf of all the lives in Skyna. I love that he has headphones on. That's a common thing in games like this, right? Of course I'll accept the quest. Eugene, title, a genius boy who learned tactical strategies through games. Okay, that's kind of a funny plot point. I met some uh, wiki creators uh, the last time I went to a gaming event. These people know everything about the game top to bottom. That makes that makes sense. If this is a game and you're the main character, what am I? You're... You're a partner! A partner character! Mio! Mio! Title, a high school girl who suddenly became a Titan writer. A cheerful high school student currently training to be a girl group singer. She fell into a world that's even more fantastical than being a celebrity. Okay, I like Mio. Okay, so this is the part that we know I'm very well, guys. Strategy that. builder awesome. games like this. So guys, you'll notice in the title of this game, it says Grand Cross. That part of this IP refers to a crack that connects different dimensions of the world, and it contains a story of countless heroes who live in a vast worldview that encompasses the present and the future. So it almost connects the IP together, right? Because you saw here, like, connecting different stories across different stories, different games. I like that. So guys, just like any builder or strategy games that we love, you expand your territory and combat power by progressing through the story. As the player progresses through the game, chaos is driven away from the territory they seized. As the player's presence gradually expands, players can obtain heroes, items, decorative buildings, and more. Create or join alliances, create world objects in the server with your alliance, and join in huge server versus server wars to fight for glory. Here we go. We can't build anything unless we restore this facility. When buildings can't be leveled up, growth is slowed down. We know that. You gotta keep busy in games like this. The entire point is accurate analysis and utilization of facilities. FYI, I've figured everything out. Incredible! You're so amazing, Savior! Man, this is cool. Like, it seems really familiar in the way of, like, strategy builder games like this, we know. But the fact that there's a story and voice acting and cutscenes, I don't know. I genuinely love that stuff. All right, so next they want us to rebuild the castle. You know, the base of operations, the town hall. We know what it is. I'm so glad you're safe. Man, I like these characters. Like the hero, you know, warrior characters. This is cool. I told you to call her your highness. Is Kayla going to be a hero character? We got to talk about those next guys because that part of these games is my favorite. You know, you, you get to either summon these heroes or recruit these heroes. The goddess has answered the star prayer. Even the goddess acknowledged the sincerity of the princess's heart. Everyone truly loves and cares about the princess. Well, she's the main character of this game. 
It's only natural. And wait, who is that in the background? Is that Mio in the background? The the girl character who comes from his school? Okay, so a lot of the games like this, the, you know, the strategy and anime style games I, I've liked like this recently, mostly been because the hero characters are so likable. You know, if they if they make cool art and, you know, make them fun to use, okay, that that's great. But when they have a bit of a story or they're involved in the story, that makes it even better. In Age of Titans, there are different heroes with different personalities and characteristics in the game. Each has unique, specialized, active, and passive skills, meaning you can make an endless variety of units and strategies depending on the combination of heroes. Grand Cross Age of Titans has various types of troops from normal archers, infantry, and cavalry to special forces that can attack the opponent regardless of the terrain. Ranged battle systems can create strategies to use attacks and terrain without being disturbed by the terrain, like a bomber, an aerial unit can attack over walls and mountains, and nobody really wants to be playing a game where you can just spam one type of troop and win, so combinations of different types of units enable dynamic and new strategies. Titans are the final special force of Grand Cross Age of Titans, and these titans are divided into privately owned titans and titans owned by the ally each titan has its own medical skills and characteristics such as solid defense for infantry attributes and long-range attacks for archery titans existence alone has a sense of weight and scale depending on how you use them they can change the course of the battle itself users can enjoy the grandiose battle with titans along with other troops okay so this is our training cavalry training ground we're going to make the cavalry units can you fill me in on the details? We need to create forces faster. We're going too slowly. If this is a strategy game, speed up should be possible. <laughs> Maybe it's a paid feature? They're definitely making fun of this style of games and I love it. The necklace! Mio, I knew it! I knew you weren't a useless character. This guy is vicious. Eugene, you gotta chill, man. What do you think? This is called a speed up. So, man, basically, anytime something new is introduced to the game, they do a, a cutscene where the character tells it to you. This is a lot more fun for me than just a little window that's like, hey, press this button. It really works. I don't know, man. I think this was really well done. Savior, you're the light of Skyna. Everyone is delighted. Sleeping less to research games has finally paid off. <laughs> I've got all roots under control. Everyone is calling you the Sage of Wisdom. The nickname matches your divine and wise appearance perfectly. Oh. Sage? <laughs> what an embarrassing title. Unless it makes me OP, I refuse to use it. <laughs> I think this star fragment thing has been buzzing for a while. Am I mistaken? You're not mistaken. Mio, Destina, the star fragment is calling you. What's gonna happen here? Finally. It's time oh. to unlock the summon feature. This is going to be cool. This is where we're going to see the heroes and the titans, hopefully. Let's check it out. What we need is... Yes, music! What? What we need right now is one of your abilities. You're singing. That's Sing, right. Mio! She's a singer. He talked about that earlier. As I said before, the necklace you're wearing has the ability to activate mana. And the simplest way to activate it is to use your voice. Things like this are normally handled through song. Okay, so that's going to make our summons available. Let's check it out. I'm feeling very at home here. I like this. I like this. You get right here. You can see daily free summons. You're going to get some free summons. It's like opening a random chest in, in games. Like you don't know what you're going to get. And let's see what we get. Let's go. Dude, they made this like really intense. So is that a rare? I like the color. Valkyrie, okay. With brilliance. She's here. We got Valkyrie. I, I nice. I'll be your sword and shield. I like her. Okay. We can use the new troops we rescued here. All right, we're going to maintain our pace. What was that? 
So we just got some soldiers for rescuing them? That was... That was wild. It's Roxana, the living doctrine. Yo, here's you another hero. I love how they give a little story to each one. You are shrouded in the blue light of the star fragment and shallow... What does that even mean? Oh, so we're starting to talk about Titans. I like her. If she's talking about Titans, we need to see some Titans. Stand in awe. According to chapter one, verse three of the Lunolic... Okay, so ah, she's like the holy one. Nice, Roxana, you're cool. It's about time. Titans? Yep. The ground is shaking. This must be it. What's that sound? Monsters, of course. Monsters? I want to see some Titans. Uh, there are way too many. All right, guys, we're in our first fight here. They're probably going to introduce it to us, you know, with the, the typical, like, cutscene. I like Go, it. Valkyrie. We, too, need to rally our troops and enter the battle. Losing our main forces can mean defeat for us, so be careful. All right, guys, our first battle right here. Let's see how we do it. All right, just slide. Oh, oh, I actually aim. Oh, I'm like charging Valkyrie through them. Okay. Okay, so it looks like my side troops just sort of do their own thing. And Valkyrie actually had to direct Valkyrie on, uh, I guess, who she was going towards. Oh, and I can continue to encourage her to go forward. Valkyrie, you got this. You got this. Yeah. All right, cool. Grand Cross Age of Titans features PvE battles to test individual strategy and combat power and PvP battles for competition between users. I don't know, man. I'm a sucker for PvE. Like, I like single-player missions. I like story-based missions. That stuff is cool to me. PvE is the single-player mode, and PvP is mainly conducted in the world arena and castle wars single player stages gradually increase in level and difficulty as you clear them incentivizing you to devise various strategies in response to the map and enemy forces that's how to do it dude like make them get genuinely difficult so it forces you to either get better or you you know you hit a brick wall that's how you get better our heroes so far are i mean destina the princess i think i was calling her the queen it looks like it's the same uh function either way but she's princess Roxana, Valkyrie, Kayla, Sophia. You can see on the bottom, there's like the, the buffs and the... Uh... Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. This is going to be cool, man. I can't wait to get uh, some more of these. Claudia, you look cool. We've seen you. She says something about I can't eat raw meat. <laughs> okay, I really like some of these heroes. This is... Yeah, man, we definitely need one of these fire characters. I don't know. It almost seems cool to have a fire character. There's so many heroes in here. This is awesome, man. Look, look, they're still going. Dude, I got so sucked into the story aspect of this. The, the fact that there's, like, cutscenes and stuff. They they got me with this one. I really like it, man. One of the things I like this is you can choose. Do I want to do sort of the single-player stuff? Do I want to go head-to-head -head with other players? Do I want to build up my base? You have different various ways you can go. I want to go the story-based route. I want to get into the world, get more lore. This has a lot of that. But it is clear that if you aren't into that, if you want to just go to the strategy stuff, you can go straight to that. When I first saw this stuff, I just saw some promotional videos and stuff. And it looked cool, but I didn't get it until I was in here listening to the voice acting, going through. Like, it's, it's easy to get into this game. It seems like it's one that's going to be challenging to master in a good way. And then the summons, like like the heroes and the titans, like I haven't even gotten to that in the in my version of the game yet. I can't wait. So guys, we're going to have a link below. Check that out. Get involved in this early access beta. Anyway, gang, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again to Grand Cross, Age of Titans. Uh, this was a really cool... Uh, I'm excited for this. We're going to do a couple more of these guys as the game you know, gets into global launch. Because if this is the early access, it seems like there's so much here already. Hey man, we will see you guys next time right here on the One and Only Beakers Lab. Peace.